lighter. We've got the boat all ready to go. The sun's just coming up. Time to drop the mooring ball. Here we go. Leaving Culebra in the background. Headed through the cut. prepped the boat for close-hauled sailing in fairly strong winds blowing directly from St. Thomas, determined to sail instead of bashing directly into the seas with the motor running. All right, we're trying to do a little tack here. Got the sails reefed in. It's a little bouncy. It's not too bad. The worst thing is, is we're not going towards St. Thomas. So we'll sail a little bit attack. Just try to make it uh, as best as possible <laughs> and not take till night time to get there. So far, so good. We were about halfway there after a little over three hours. Starting to be able to see the town of Charlotte Amalia. And then right here is Water Island. And uh, just dead ahead off the port there is our We'll be there very shortly. Anchor down here in St. Thomas, but we're real sure about uh, how good it's set. So Zach's gonna check on it. Let's 
so after we got settled in, we've just been kind of lazy today, not doing much of anything. Uh, after a seven hour sail, it was a little rough, a little tiring. There's been a lot of relaxing like this. And really nice sunset coming up. It's awesome. Anchorage looks awesome. We spent the next day hanging out at Honeymoon Beach, which is only accessible by water. It was awesome to finally be in the U.S. Virgin Islands. At night, we watched the beautiful lights of Charlotte Amalia, St. Thomas's largest city, which was just across the channel from Water Island where we were anchored. We're just gonna hang here uh, one more night tonight, and then we're gonna move over there to the city and uh, do some grocery shopping and get ready for whatever we do next. It's uh, only a few days before Christmas, so yeah. It's time to go into Charlotte Amalia Harbor. So uh, we're gonna wait for this guy to go through first and then uh, we'll come following him in. Uh, this catamaran is bold. Like, I'm gonna go through at the same time. <laughs> Coming in here to the dinghy dock at this marina. <laughs> Look at all these big ships. Wow. See some dinghies up here, so I think this is where we're supposed to go. <laughs> so, this is one of the cruise ship docks right next to the marina where we tied up the dinghy, uh, but there's not any cruise ships here right now. So, typically, I guess all these places would be open. There's like Louis Vuitton and Coach and all kinds of things. We're just gonna see if we can find our way out of here and go into maybe the regular part of town. All right, so we've went to the grocery store here. How'd we do, Lindy? Did we get a bunch of stuff? We did get a bunch of stuff. Gonna take it back over to the marina and load it on the boat. We got the groceries all loaded back into the boat. Uh, I made a water run and got some extra dinghy gas and uh, now we're gonna go to this other dinghy dock over here near some historic looking buildings. So. Planning to head for more natural settings the next day, we went in to check out Charlotte Amalia, the capital of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Here we are. I think this is the biggest cleat Lindy's ever tied to. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we really cruisers are ever like, man, I wish there was a cruise ship here. <laughs> Usually that means there's just a big crowded area where uh, normally we're in places where there's not so many people. So maybe this is kind of nice. <laughs> 
we think we see a place that looks kind of cool. It's called Gringo's. And it looks like a Mexican restaurant. Taco y Taquilla. What's up, chicken? <laughs> this looks fun. We'll check it out, hang out here for a little bit, then uh, go back to the boat and watch the sunset there or, you know, just uh, relax. And in come the cruise ships. It's Monday morning now, the day before Christmas Eve. But, uh, we're gonna be going out that uh, entrance. I think maybe four cruise ships come in here every day. Maybe we'll go out right in between two of them when one of them's not in the way. <laughs> so, St. Thomas in the morning, Charlotte Amalia. Time to head to Christmas Cove for Christmas. Getting things ready down here, babe? Yep. Cool. Success, there comes another one. We got out here right in between the two. <laughs> <laughs> really cool Christmas Cove the famous pizza pie boat that we've seen in so many pictures 
they have pizza there that you can order and uh, they can deliver it to your boat or you can go pick it up. So uh, yeah, we're gonna be eating pizza here. <laughs> it's about time to do some snorkeling and swimming. Man, this place is amazing. Almost time for our pizza to be ready. Jump in the dinghy and head over to Pizza Pie. Pick it up. All right. Man, this place is awesome. <laughs> oh, we messed up my trajectory. I'll come back this way. This is really cool. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Thank you. See y'all later. <laughs> Merry, Christmas. Merry Christmas. Pulling up to the back of a sailboat and uh, getting a pizza. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful anchorage. Damn, that is awesome. Can't wait to eat this pizza. All right, Lindy, do the honors here. What's it look like? Oh man, that looks good. Does look good. Let's eat that pizza up. And we got a sunset coming up in a minute. Wow, this is the best day. That definitely gets my seal of approval. That's my second piece. What about you, Lindy? Delicious. Seal of approval?
Merry Christmas from Holiday. This morning we are having Little Smokies as is tradition for us on Christmas morning. And what's the other thing, Lindy? Uh, we've got a spinach artichoke dip that's in the oven right now. Awesome. So. Uh, and we've got some banana bread. Yep. Yeah. And a uh, little sourdough bread too, right? A little sourdough cool. bread. Awesome. So let's see what it looks like on a Christmas morning in Christmas Cove. It's a beautiful day. We've got a little bit of a south wind, so a little swell in here is causing us to roll a little bit, but it's not too bad. In fact, it's awesome. So uh, yeah, that's it. We're gonna hang out for the day and just uh, relax. Merry Christmas. So we had our Christmas brunch and we decided we'd had enough of that rolliness that was going on. So we are dropping the morning and taking a short little three mile Christmas day sail over to St. John. We're gonna get through this cut and I think we're gonna just be able to pop the jib up and just, all right. Goodbye Christmas Cove. This is awesome. We're uh, just out of that cut, turn the motor off, just jib sailing right across this little sound here. That's St. John right ahead of us. Plenty of wind, so I mean, I don't even have to mess with the sail and we're smoking right along. We'll be there in like basically less than 30 minutes. And then off over that way, we think tomorrow we'll, we're going to head over to Joseph Van Dyke in the British Virgin Islands. All right, it's just about time to take the sail down. Looks like a nice little anchorage here, mooring field. Here in this little Keneal Bay. Very pretty here. There's a beach around that point we're going to check out today. We had an awesome beach afternoon on our one day in St. John. But don't worry, we come back and spend a lot of time here on this beautiful island. Stay tuned for our next episode where we head to Joe Van Dyke to begin our month-long cruise of the British Virgin Islands. Zach, there's a dinghy coming. Oh, you're okay. Delicious. Seal of approval? Mm -hmm. Let's see you take a bite and see if we believe I'm gonna you. I'm going to go bite my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, not my face. <laughs>